Hello everyone, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead with Frozen Foxy and David Carradine. Last time we left off, we found a broadsword. We also found uh, army helmets, um, including a uh, Pickelhaube, I believe is how you pronounce that, which is actually a German helmet with a point on the top, and I had no idea. So, now that I do have an idea of what that is, I think we will... Um, We'll go ahead and take our army helmet off instead of um, instead of wearing that, and then we'll go ahead and wear the uh, the the pickle hub because uh, it is uh, is a pretty awesome helmet, and perhaps we can rush into a zombie and stab them with the top of our head. I don't know. Anyway, um, we've also left this car that was uh, up here. Apparently, I've got safe mode on as usual, but um, this car looks like it is uh, pretty much in working order. And uh, to that end, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, start putting some stuff into this, uh, this car here so that we don't have to carry it around. Um, and that way we can, uh, we can go ahead and possibly drive this so that we can get to somewhere else and um, probably crash it into something because uh, it's facing the wrong way and we're not good at, uh, at driving so I'm sure this will go over fantastically let's see what else do I want to put down matchbook we don't need that many flashlights that's just a ridiculous amount of flashlights um, let's put down the tent because I don't really want to carry that don't need those right now. Um, it looks like that's pretty much it for what I want to put down. Maybe this book. That seems like something good to put down as well. But I think everything else is, um, is perfect. Yes, let's see. Okay, everything is in the, uh, the trunk now. We have, we have pretty much, uh, unloaded everything we possibly could have. So let's get into this and uh, let's let's try driving because I'm sure that will work out really, really well. And this car doesn't move at all. Okay, this had less fuel than I was hoping it would. Fantastic. Okay, I regained control of the car that's not moving. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It is moving. Never mind. My bad. I thought I was hitting the uh, the button to wait, and apparently I was not. Okay, so this car does have some fuel. Perfect. That is just what I was hoping for. So we're going to drive ever so leisurely through town as we attract all the zombies with our noisiness as I'm going up here, but um, right now what I'm trying to do is I'd like to head to this parking lot and see if there's anything in it. And if not, we're going to uh, we're going to start heading down towards this pharmacy here and hopefully find something there. What would be really nice is if we could find um, gas somewhere, but I don't think there's a gas station anywhere in this town, at least not that I remember. I think the only way we're going to end up getting gas is by siphoning it, siphoning it from a, another car in town, which I imagine there's plenty of cars that have gas, they just don't have engines. So that might be something viable in the future. Like this thing right here might have some gas for all I know. And then I could figure out uh, how to siphon that. I would need a hose or something. But there's tons and tons of uh, cars around. Just a lot of uh, damaged cars at the moment. So let's see here. We are going to have to be careful because there's lots and lots of crap all over the road. And plenty of zombies. And there's a zombie brute over here. Okie dokie. It's a hideous beast of a zombie, bulging with distended muscles on both arms and legs. This is uh, not a good zombie to have found. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. 
Well, I can certainly try to run over the zombie brute, but um, I somehow wonder if a zombie brute would be able to um, stop the car. This looks like a uh, an okay looking car. So this might actually be a good car, I don't know. I am not sure. Um, all right, well, we'll try to pull into this parking lot carefully with all these zombies around us and get the hell out of this car. We're hearing a crash to the north. Am I really unable to get past a single zombie? Is that, is that what's going on here? All right, there we go. So we're good here. We're gonna pull up a little more. And good enough, let's start slowing it down. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and uh, open up the door real quick and then we will uh, we'll let go of the controls. All right. Hey zombies. Hey, don't don't you be messing with my car. That's a good car. It actually moves. Unlike most cars. You better not be destroying my car. Uh-oh. The brute is coming. This this could be very very bad. And there's a spitter trying to spit all over us. All right. I need Whoa, there is a uh, quite a number of zombies over this way. But I need to find a good spot to take on these zombies and before we uh, we get into it because we may just die right here um, I'm gonna start using a little first aid on my torso here oh boy there is a lot of zombies around me right now yes please step into that acid uh-oh uh-oh this is bad. This is very bad. Okay, let's activate our first aid real quick on our head. Okay, here we go. Here comes a brute. It's it's not a Hulk, but it's still dangerous. Okay, never mind. I think we just killed that really quick. That was a lot faster than I was expecting it to be, but we are getting a whole bunch of zombies coming after us right now and um, I really need to use some more of this first aid on my torso because this is going to be a bad news kind of situation uh oh there's a smoker up here too oh boy this could be the end of us with all these zombies coming and I'm losing some blood here that is not good I don't want to uh, to lose all this blood. All right, let's see here. Let's activate some bandages, and we will stop the bleeding. All right, we're okay-ish. All right, let's go ahead and eat some stuff, just so that we have something. Let's drink some water. Maybe recover a little bit. This may uh, still end up very bad for us because I wasn't paying attention to the bleeding. But we're okay, we've, we've eaten something. All right, um, that's a broken window right there, but that is going to cause us to bleed some more. Let's see here, I am over at church right now and my stuff is over here in the clothing store we're getting close to that alright well I'm kind of away from things I would prefer a location that gave me a better advantage in this battle but um, I think this will do for now because we've only got one zombie coming at us which is the uh, the Shrieker, which is probably going to uh, to start attracting things. All right, let's make sure that we do not have um, any bleeding going on. Uh, bandages. I think I'm going to uh, bandage my head anyway because it could use some of it. 
Let's see here. What is here? Nothing that I care about. Let's wait for this zombie to get over here. This broadsword is doing pretty good work so far. Which is good. Alright. Here comes a smoker. Not my idea of a good time. Alright. Let's slash you in half. Man, this is taking a little bit longer for you. Possibly because uh, my sword got stuck in him and it, my fists are being used right now. I need Muay Thai. Thank you. Alright, there. At the very least, we've got uh, we've got our Muay Thai back. Where the hell is my sword at right now? Uh, let's see here. Where did my sword go? Uh, Counter-Strike... I don't know where my sword went at the moment. I do not even see it here. Okay. Is it over this way? Where the hell did my sword go? Maybe I had to put it away when I was um, when I was working on carving up that guy. Where is that broadsword? Firearms. No, I don't know where my broadsword went. Speaking of uh, pain that we've got right now, I should go ahead and use some of our uh, our nice pills. I'll go with some codeine. That seems good. No, I don't want to step into smoke. I'm trying to step around it. Where the hell is my sword at? There it is. Yes, I'm overburdened. Okay. Let's go ahead and wield that broadsword. I was like, I'm doing very little damage right now for a broadsword, so something's wrong. Must have gotten uh, stuck in one of the zombies. Hey, other zombies. Alright, now I need to get back over here. And I'm definitely going to need to carve up these, uh, these corpses. That is very important. Alright, zombie. Let's start slashing the crap out of you. Aw, oh, man, my belt rig is gone. Well, that blows. And my torso is about to be gone, too. That is not good at all. Alright, I'm going to need to activate first aid before something really bad happens. Uh, I think we're going to die here. This is uh, This is not working out very well. The only way that we are going to get out of this is if I leave this situation, I think. Okay. We're good-ish. Let's go ahead and activate our, uh, our bandages a little more. So we've got plenty of bandages. Oh, and I'm losing blood again, of course. When the hell did that happen? Damn blood. Man, I am just really messed up right now. I don't know if that's from that zombie brute or what the hell uh, managed to hurt me this bad. It's probably from the brute, in all honesty. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, activate some more bandages. Might as well, considering... Um, uh, I can use some cauterization, possibly. Okay, well, apparently no need to do that. Alright, um... Let's go ahead and do our torso a little bit more. Let's activate those bandages even more. Okay, that's not doing anything for our torso at the moment. Let's do some on our head. And um, then we're going to activate some of our first aid on our torso. And activate some more first aid on our head. Okay. At the very least, we're kind of alive-ish. But uh, bad things are definitely uh, happening. Um, military rucksack might be nice to have, even though it's cracked. Nothing else here that I need. Uh, I think that's it. Alright, well, there's still a zombie over here, and 
and uh, I guess we're going after him. Even though we're not in the greatest of shape with all the blood loss that we've had. We definitely, um, we definitely need to, uh, to get healed up and rest for a while. Because this has been, um, some bad news along the way. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out this car here. Still 5% fuel in that. Go ahead and butcher you. I don't think there's any other corpses here, no. Butcher you. There are no corpses. What are you talking about? How are there no corpses here? Didn't I kill, like, two zombies there? That is a little unsettling. <laughs> Alright, um... I'd really like to see what kind of fuel that this has. But there's a whole bunch of zombies that I gotta deal with. Alright, and my messenger bag is getting screwed up too. Come on, man. Just die. Still got my broadsword, so everything's okay-ish. Alright, um, let's make sure that I don't have any wounds. No. Go for the torso anyway. And we'll butcher you. Yes, let's stop butchering. Is it just that monster? Just the zombie right there? Also, what the hell is this thing here? A steel compactor. Okay. Interesting. Come on, zombie. Get your ass over here. I've got things to do. All right, so far so good. My bite wounds are really deep, great. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, activate some disinfectant if I have some around with me. There we go, and let's clean that wound. And then we'll go ahead and activate the bandages for my torso. And activate some more bandages for my right leg here. Okay. Butcher you. Yes, please. Butcher you. Gotta butcher all this stuff. Alright, what do we got here? There's still another zombie corpse here. Um, doesn't look like there's anything here that I really care about. Um, I mostly have all of my stuff. Let's go ahead and butcher you. All right. Uh, okay, I'm getting to this car and finding out what it's got. It's got 4% fuel. So um, the only thing worthwhile about this would probably be um, taking the fuel out of it by siphoning it. And these are 17 inch wheels. What do I got on my car? 20 inch wheels. So I guess 17 inch wheels might work. So I might be able to take those with me, but um, they might not. My car might drag along the ground. I have no clue about that one. Alright, let's go ahead and butcher you. Another hammer. A raincoat could be nice to have an extra of, especially because my current raincoat is getting all uh, wrecked at the moment. Okay, so, so far, so good. We're not, uh, we're not perfect at the moment, but we're doing okay-ish. 